Hello everyone, you're watching Legally Speaking, I am Meera Varma. Today we'll inform our audience that the CGI is the master of roaster and is tasked with the constituting benches of two or more judges and assigning cases to the benches. The Chief Justice is typically appointed as per the principle of sonority. They head the Supreme Court Collegium which recommends appointing judges to the Supreme Court and the High Courts. They have a wide range of administrative tasks which affect the day-to-day -day functioning of the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, will retire on November 10, 2024 after holding the office for a period of two years. Other than Justice J.B. Pardiwala, who will hold the office for a period of two years and three months, none of the next eight CJIs are expected to enjoy a tenure longer than one year and two months. Firstly, Justice Sanjeev Khanna will assume office as the CGI on November 11, 2024 for a term of six months till his retirement on May 13, 2025. Justice Khanna has been a part of 358 benches and authored over 90 judgments. In 2019, he authored the majority opinion in the famous RTI judgment and held that judicial independence must not stand in the way of transparency and accountability. Secondly, Justice B.R. Gawai is set to become the CGI on May 14, 2025 for a term of little over six months till November 23, 2025 and was elevated to the Supreme Court from the Bombay High Court in May 2019. Justice Gawai is one of the Supreme Court roster for the land acquisition, service law, criminal law and customer protection related matters. Thirdly, Justice Surakant will serve as the CGI for 1.2 years from November 24, 2025 to his retirement on February 9, 2025. The Supreme Court Collegium admitted to recommend his name over others to ensure the representation from his parents, High Court of Punjab and Haryana. He was also on the ninth judge bench for Sabrimala review petition along with Justice Kaval. Certainly, Justice Vikram Kant will occupy the office of Chief Justice from February 7, 2027 to September 23, 2027. His tenure will span nearly eight months. Since his appointment to the Supreme Court, Justice Nath has been a part of 180 benches and authored 40 judgments in almost two years so far. Next comes Justice B.V. Nagaratna, who will be the first woman Chief Justice of India. However, her tenure will span only 36 days from September 24th to October 29th, 2027. She was elevated to the Supreme Court in August 2021 from the Karnataka High Court. In her nearly two years tenure so far, she has authorized 53 judgments and been a part of 366 benches. She authored a separate opinion in the Azam Khan Freedom of Speech. Furthermore, Justice P.S. Narsima will be the third Supreme Court judge directly elevated from the bar to become the Chief Justice along with CGI's S.M. Sikri and U.U. Lalit. He was elevated in the Supreme Court in August 2021. Justice Narsima was a part of five-judge bench which reserved the judgment in the applicability. Moving ahead with Justice Pardiwala who will assume the office of the Chief Justice on May 3, 2028, he will serve a tenure of two years and three months as CGI till August 11, 2030. He is the fourth Parsi judge of the Supreme Court and was elevated from the Gujarat High Court on May 9, 2022. He will be the only CGI on the list to hold the office for at least two years. Justice Pardiwala has been a part of 95 benches and authorized 36 of the judgments. Lastly, Justice K.V. Vishwanathan will be the fourth Supreme Court judge directly elevated from the bar to become the CGI in August 2030. He will be serving as CGI for close to 10 months till his retirement on 25th of May 2031. He was designated as a senior advocate in 2008. He has also represented parties in several high-profile cases such as challenge to WhatsApp privacy policy and the plea for the marriage equality. Well, that brings the end of our list. For more legal updates, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.